What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is episode number 31 and if you're wondering what the heck all this stuff is in front of you, don't worry, you haven't skipped an episode. Well, I guess technically you have. What happened basically is I recorded like almost a whole episode and then I realized that OBS crashed right after I started recording. So I didn't get pretty much any of that footage, um, but we did some stuff in there. So uh, at, at, I guess at the very least we got some progress going and I can show you guys what we did. Uh, so the first thing that we did was we moved these guys apart a little bit, and that's probably the least important thing we did, but I'll say it anyway. We moved these guys apart a little bit so that we can put the uh, the the Frankie Boiled Miner and the Rigs It Up uh, Welder, or Rigs It Up Builder rather, um, uh, side by side instead of them actually touching. Because if, if it was close like this, they would be touching, which is not, uh, not good. We want a lot of space, especially since these are only controlled via camera. Um, additionally, we, uh, we went and mined a little bit of, um, of silver and we were able to get this thing welded up. So that's, uh, that's good. It, it refills our stuff, uh, quite a bit faster than the ship does. And also if we die on this planet, we can respawn here instead of spawning all the way back on Mars. Uh, and if we did, if we spawned on Mars, we'd have to make another one of these basically and fly ourselves all the way back to the planet. Um, so that we could, or the moon, so that we could actually do stuff. Um, in addition to that, we actually got some uh, some iron, which we used to put in here. And now we have a bunch of iron that we can use for stuff. Um, Fe, let's see how much we have. Nope, it's not Fe apparently. Iron, yeah, we have we have a good 30k. So that's that's a good amount of iron. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Oh, we we made this uh, this new ship right here, which I named the. <laughs> And I always forget these names. I named this one the Iron Helix. And I think we might already have something named after uh, Iron Helix. I'm not actually sure. If we don't, here's a new one. If we do, uh, you know, I usually pick random numbers <laughs> random numbers from the patrons. Um, and so that's how that's selected. Um, it's got this cool thing on it. And what this essentially is, is this is a power ship. So it's carrying three batteries. One, two, and then there's one that's not completely welded yet. Uh, we have to actually get, get the materials to, um, to make that. Uh, so we have to do another mining expedition pretty much. But it's got that stuff and then it's got a bunch of connectors which it will basically use to connect to any of these guys in the event that they run out of power. And that's imp you, I'm sure you can imagine why that's important. It's also got quite a bit of thrust uh, compared to its weight and then it's got a landing gear on top of it so that if any of these things need to be moved, this thing can get in there, stick its landing gear on there and it'll be good. Uh, in addition, it's also got a, um, a camera that can actually rotate. It's a pivot camera. So um, what we do is we get into the camera and we can use the buttons that we select on the remote control to turn this thing and look up and down and that sort of thing. Uh, and this is something that one of you guys talked about in the comments that we could try. And it actually works pretty well. Um, let's see. This is like going through a whole, a whole episode in a couple minutes. Um, what else did we do? We connected that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we we're making another ship which is going to be a secondary welder uh, slash grinder and that was going to be uh, in the event that this thing dies or it breaks or something messes up with it We need some other way to weld and grind So we have this secondary one and this the sole purpose of this guy pretty much is going to be to fix this guy Or if that's not possible to generate a new one to make a new welder grinder um, For us, so this is what we were working on when I noticed that the thing crashed um, pretty much so what can you expect from this episode? Well, this episode we're going to be finishing up this little welder right here um, because it's not completely done. It's mostly, it's just mostly done. Uh, we're going to be probably doing a mining expedition to get the materials to, to uh, finish up these batteries, that one and the one over there. Uh, we're going to make another miner, um, probably a much smaller one, I think, than that one. That one's a big miner. That'll be our main miner, but we'll make a smaller miner that we'll be able to, um, to mine in the event that that one is destroyed. I really don't know why. Maybe we'll... No, we'll make a smaller miner, like the mini miner. I'm not talking about like a big miner like this, but like the one that we have over on the base over there, the mini miner um, that we'll, we'll have, just so we can get in different sized areas. I'm trying to convince myself why we need a second miner, but you know what? It's always good to have two of something. Buddy system, you know, you know what they say. Um, we're not going to start on the welder pit today because I still have to actually research how a welder pit works, and I haven't done that yet. Um, and I'm not talking about a welder pit like we did on the moon base in Season 2 because that one was only partially functional. I'm talking about one that actually works automatically. Uh, I have to find a video on how to do that. By the way, I remember a couple episodes I asked you guys how I would be able to disconnect these things. Well, it's actually very easy. Uh, and I wasn't thinking when I asked you guys this, but if I go to the remote control, uh, and in fact, the this guy right here does not have a remote control. Um, or it does, but it's, it doesn't have one that's actually named. So I have to find it. Okay, so now we have the remote control for the Busy Bee Scout. And what we can do is imagine we connect from Mars to the base. 
All we have to do is find that. So I can type in busy, busy bee. Or if I don't want to type in that, I could even type in uh, scout. And I'll find the remote control for the busy bee scout rover. All I have to do is click on this, click control, and now we're in control. So what we want to do from there is we want to go here, turn everything on again, and then unlock this. And we should be good to go. Yep, we are good to go. All right. Uh, this thing has a gyro on it, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we're looking for silicon. We're going to go out in, I guess, that way direction that we're looking right now. Let me see what cameras this thing has again. Okay, this isn't that bad. I might add a pivot camera to this as well, but for now it's fine. All right, let's go. We're just going to drive right off the edge because we have the uh, we have a gyro that allows us to turn and stuff. This one, the third. Yeah, let's use third third person and we'll just drive this way. Oh man, I forgot how fun this thing is. <laughs> the gyro just makes it so much better. We can even do a flip probably if we want to, but I'm you know I'm I don't want to. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Front flip. No back flip. No no flip. Uh, back flip. Front flip. I mean. Front flip! Yeet! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that was a bit messy, but it worked. Roll on your rover. Roll on half. Roll on till we find a silicon mine. Oh my god, we have We have eight years of power! <laughs> Bring it down to four years of power, but yeah, still. Oh shoot, we're gonna run out of hydrogen eventually, aren't we? I forgot that that was a problem. Yeah, we're gonna run out of hydrogen real quick. Wait, no, our, our hydrogen's actually going towards our batteries, so no, we're fine. I'm just panicking for no reason. Let's turn this way. Please, wheels, don't do me wrong. Okay, we're good. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> no, turn! Oh my god, what? <laughs> what was that? I'm glad we landed that. The gyros were not wanting to work properly. <laughs> we hit a weird angle. It's fine, though, because then we would have been able to test out our uh, our other ships. So, it, it is fine. Maybe we'll do, like, a mock flip um, later and see how our ships work. Bruh, is there any silicon? Is there not any silicon on this planet? Is it a barren ice land? Devoid of silicon? Or doth the silicon lie below nickel? Not that I need it. But there is nickel over there. And it seems like we're finding a lot of uh, areas with only one ore. Like one ore type. Let's go down here. A little, little bit of a valley. Valleys are nice because it gets us closer to the center of the planet. Uh, which means if there are some uh, lower lying ores, we'll be able to find them in there. Alright, my friends, we return. Uh, what's the opposite of victorious? Non-victorious? Okay. I'm going to have to uh, step out of this thing because I have to actually fix my... Uh... Oh, that was... Whoa, that was a hard landing. What did I break? Oh, I broke something. I don't know what, but I think I broke something on the ship. Let's go into the... Uh, no, I, bro I broke the front camera. Well, dang. Ain't that a shame. I'm going to have to stop the ship right here because other... Well, okay, I'll let it, I'll let it go a little bit. And I'll stop it at the top of this mountain. Because my player is about to get himself killed. Uh, because of lack energy of uh, energy. Energy. Looks like we've run out of oxygen in there as well. So we need to give it more ice, but it's fine for now. Control this thing, hop into this. Alright, let's floor it back to base because we are now a damaged ship. I don't know what components were damaged. The camera, and that's it. But, um... But let's make a beeline back to our base and we might find something along the way. A whole new world... A new barren 
wasteland full of ice. But there's no silicon. Oh god, we're going a little too fast for our own good here. Any wrong move could send us tumbling and in need of a rescue. Iron. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Skirt. Okay, it's a little difficult to stop this thing. Skirt. Let's go check out the, uh, the iron over here. Wait, more iron? What? Is it that big of an iron patch that we have more iron that we're seeing as well? Alright, I'm seeing just iron currently. Alright, we've got iron right under us right now. Why why is it why are there so many areas with only one material? So we've seen only iron, we've seen only nickel. No other stuff. Where usually there's a bunch of stuff in the uh, in the area. That's really weird. I don't know if uh, ores are detectable from the sky in this in this uh, on this planet. But if they are, the Chris Craft might help us find some stuff. All right, we're just now returning to base and we're trying to back our uh, our ship in here. Which is proving to be a very fun job, but I think we might have gotten it done. Okay. We just have to aim it right about here and... Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, uh, this one, then turn everything else off now. Sweet. Okay, you're now connected. So we did lose this camera, but that's about it. Unfortunately, we were not able to find any silicon, so we might take out the Chris Craft and, uh, and do another search. I... wait. You totally just did not have oxygen a second ago, so that's a little suspicioso. But uh, no, it's fine. Okay, let's uh, let's take out the Chris Craft then. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up a little bit. Look how nimble this thing is. I like it. I'm gonna go up a little bit and find. Let's go and find this. Let's see if there's anything that is um, clearly an ore about this. I mean, you can't really tell, can you? Maybe over there. I don't know. On, on the, uh, I mean, I guess you can see some, like, darker area. Maybe some, uh, yeah, maybe that right there is the, the telltale. Um, on Earth, you can see, like, dark patches where ores are. But let's take, okay, so if this is ore right here, then we know how to find it. Because this looks very similar to what was over there. And this might be what we discovered earlier, in fact, as well. But we'll see. So we, we go down. Aha, this is the nickel and, and, uh... Well, I just see nickel for now. This, I think this was the nickel and iron and etc. And if we were to search for longer, we'd probably find all the rest of them. Platinum? Um, I, what? I didn't think platinum spawned on, uh, on moons. I thought platinum only spawned on asteroids now, as of, like, one of the later updates. All right, well, we'll do a new from current position, because that is a big find. We have, uh, EU, uh, nickel... And platinum PL maybe. That's that's insane. Maybe this uh, maybe this world has like is still from since I started this in season one like two years ago. Maybe it's still old. <laughs> it, it doesn't have that platinum change where platinum is only found in the uh, in the in the asteroids now. Well, if, if you're doing a playthrough, I'm pretty sure that platinum is only found in asteroids and not on planets uh, nowadays. But. Um, Someone in the comments can explain that if that's a thing. Let's go to this little bit right here. I think this might be the one we discovered earlier. Silver? Is that it? What else we got? What cameras do we have for this thing? Okay, we have a third person, a backup, and a, and a front. So I think as long as I'm using this one, I won't, I won't uh, touch the ground very easily. That's the problem with this thing. It's probably super fragile. So I want to be careful. Okay, we have another point of silver, I guess. All right, let's fly up. And so I guess we're going to use the Chris Craft to actually find stuff, because it seems like it might be easier to do that. It looks like we have some ores maybe over here, which might be the same ore we just saw, but I don't know. I'm t we're totally going to eventually crash this thing. <laughs> just going too crazy. Okay, nickel. And that's it. Okay, we don't need another point of nickel, so I think, I think we're good on this one. Let's fly over to this one over here. 
This is like a little probe. It's like beep, 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 beep. In fact, did we add the, uh, yeah, okay, so we added a light on the top of it. You can kind of see it shining. Uh, maybe you can see it better in this one. Uh, maybe not. But we did add a light on. Okay, that's some iron, which uh, I guess we'll mark just because it's here. Oh, we have no time. We have no time left to flight. Let's, uh, let's fly back. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fly back. I wasn't paying attention. We're going to turn off our dampeners so we have a little bit more time to fly. And we're going to stop ourselves right above the base. And here's where we'll stop ourselves. <laughs> Jeez, man. That's what you get for not paying attention, I guess. It's okay. Why is this thing not recharged? These things should have, like, full power. Unless we're using small... I bet we're using small batteries on this thing. Oops. I forgot we're using the bottom camera. Where's the back camera? Wait. Wait. I'm confused. Oh, okay, we're, we're a little high. Wait, which camera? Oh, this is the backup camera, okay. All right, connect here. Oh, the, the, the batteries weren't on recharge, that's what it was. Okay, well, we found some good stuff. Let's, I guess we're on foot now. Let me go real quick and uh, I'll find some silicon and I'll be right back uh, with it. Aha, here we go. Okay, we found some magnesium and silicon right here. Really close to the base, in fact. Uh, let's move from current position and we'll mark this. Alright, we don't need any of these. All right, now that we find it, we're going to get in the Frankie Bold Miner and go and mine ourselves some stuff. We will... Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. Um, connect this, turn that to that, and turn this off, and we should now be good. And in fact, uh, since we're remote based, we should check this from the remote to make sure everything is working properly. I want to check the refineries. Of course, we can hear them going on over there, but... But I want to check them from here. So yeah, they are refining the silicon, and I want to check the O2H2 generators. And they are also refining the ice. In fact, wait. Why do I have... This one's the ship. Uh, can I... Can I spread some... Spread the joy? Let's give you 30,000, and let's give you 10,000. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, that, that last one right there was this one, the O2 generator for this. Alright, awesome. We now have our power cells because we have the silicon has refined. Let's grab it. And first I want to actually fix up this one since it's been waiting long enough. Is this thing done actually? I think we, maybe we had finished this. Um, I mean its purpose is mainly going to be sitting around, but, but um, it'll be definitely really important to have because if that one breaks, this will be the only hope. To, uh, to make ourselves either another one of those or to repair that one right there. What are you missing? Do you have a gyro? You don't have a gyro. Let's give it a gyro on its ship because it will be needing one of those. If it doesn't have one, it will not be able to turn and it will crash into the ground. I need gyro or I die. Gyros are important to fly. I want to weld and I do want to grind, oh, because that's my purpose in this big life. I am a ship and I am so hip. Do people still say hip? People say hip, hop, hippie, hippie to the hip, hip, hop, the don't stop, pop to the bang, bang, boogie the up, jump the boogie to the rhythm, to the boogie the beat. Now what you see is not a ship, it's merely a statue. <laughs> Currently, it's basically a statue because it's uh, it's it's not connected. But as soon as I disconnect this right here, it should be good to fly. All right, it is actually good. That's good. I haven't had a ship crash to the ground in a very long time, so I think I'm doing good by that standard. You should have a, around maybe 20 minutes of flight, so I think we're just gonna leave you there. I need to get a Patreon name so I can stick it on there. So let me really quick find a Patreon name. Kablam! I give you the Stellar Welder. 
Named after Stellar, who's one of our patrons. Uh, link in the description. So the Stellar, the Stellar welder is our backup welder, and it's going to. Well, I've said this probably at least five times in this video. It's going to be the backup welder for this welder and for anything else that fails in the base. Uh, it's got a different configuration because I figured why make the same thing twice. Uh, so this one's actually got a, uh, a welder on the bottom and a grinder on the top. Um, in addition to being our backup welder, it will also be able to fit in smaller places than this one, um, vertically, vertic vertical wise, because it's got a, a, a smaller um, width profile, I guess you could say. Uh, and it's got a better camera than the, than the one over there. Um, but let's give it a try. Let's, uh, let's hop into the, uh, the main seat and let's connect everything and make sure she works like a beaut. All right, here we are inside this stellar welder. Why'd I call it a welder again instead of a builder? Anyway, we're in the cellar welder. We've got everything hooked up now. So we have our block tools. Let's test them. They work. Are the block tools? They work as well, even though we can't really see them. Actually, if I'm in... Wow, I can't see anything in this. So everything's off to the left in this camera. This camera that we're looking at is this one right here. We're probably going to use that camera up there for most of the uh, most of the actual stuff. And in fact, it's not following the color scheme. Come on. Let's, let's, uh, let's get the color scheme in here. There we go. Now it's kind of following the color scheme. Um, let's get get on that pivot and see how well it does. Uh, stellar welder. We're going to get to the pivot camera, which is this one right here. We're going to go to our pivot controls, and we're going to do this. So this is our turn. We want to be facing this way right here, and let's go up and down. So if I look down, I can kind of... I can... Okay, yeah, I can kind of see what we're doing. So then with this, I can, I can weld, and with this, I can grind right here. Okay, I do kind of like that. That's pretty good. Um, I wish this camera would, would work a little bit better, but I guess we're going to have to use it just for flight, pretty much. Um, and we have, we'll have to keep in mind that the ship is on the left, not the right. So we can technically fly, like, over this without a problem. But we can't necessarily do the same on this side because that's where the ship is. So, yeah. All right, we have another ship for our collection. We have, what, this is our fifth? No, this is our one, two, three, four, five. This is our sixth ship that we've made. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Um, already six. <laughs> the space is actually coming along pretty nicely. Uh, let's go ahead and build this thing up right here. In fact, you know what? Let's grab the miner. Let's place it right here. Let's put that one on there. We're going to grab materials from that, and we're going to go and see if we can weld those over there. Okay, so I put some stuff in the ship, and now it's time to test this. I also have our assembler making some stuff, but yeah. Okay, so let's turn this off recharge mode now. Let's unlock. And we should be good. Let's move to a front camera. And so now we want to actually go and do the welding. So let's go through here. And we'll come around over here. Okay, so we're going to use our pivot camera for this one, because otherwise it's going to be very difficult to see what's going on. Is that hitting that? Kind of? Okay. Okay. Let's uh, switch to this and weld it up. There we go. Okay, so now we can switch to this one. Now, obviously, this is not as easy as as um, just being able to look around as like a person, but it's it's not that bad either. It's not terrible. Um, okay, so now we want to move our pivot normally. So let's move it up a little bit. Zip. There we go. We can fly normally. Sweet. That actually works very well. These pivot cameras are going to be pretty awesome, and in fact, I should probably install them on every ship, for, uh, really, but... Um, oh, now we can actually connect this, so let's let's connect it to the newly made one that we just made. Connect, power, and you're off. Energy critical. Oops, our energy is critical. That's another problem, is we could, we could manage to kill ourselves somehow uh, by trying to connect these. But I think our base on Mars, actually, we have a seat for it, so it should be fine. Oh god, you guys are going to be depleted! Because we have too many of those guys using power and not enough of those guys. So that's probably what we're going to have to do is, is um, get some solar power in here or something. Because otherwise our base is going to go dark. And you know what happens when our base goes dark? All these start to fall. Alright, so after a little bit of time I was able to move all my ships onto the ground pretty much. And they, they all have uh, some time that they're fine. Um, the longest one being, or the shortest one being two hours. So we have two hours of our ships being, uh, being fine there. And that's allowing our thing to finally start to recharge. But it does mean that we do need to increase our power generation, uh, as this is not going to cut it. So in order to do that, I think one of the best ways... We, we can either expand our, our wind turbines here, or we can make solar panels. 
I think solar panels might be the better way to go. Because we can't... Uh, well, actually, you know what? What am I saying? <laughs> Look how much hydrogen we have all around us. Why don't we just make a bunch of hydrogen engines? That would be the real, the real way to do this. Okay, here's how we're going to do it. And this might be dumb because we have this block up here, which will make welding anything that needs to be fixed uh, a challenge. But I'm hoping nothing will need to be fixed in the first place. So we're going to stick our hydrogen engines right here. Um, hydrogen engines. How big are they on, on a big base, I wonder? They're pretty big. Uh, I could just stick them like this, actually, if I wanted to. That might be easier. Just like all throughout this. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll not put one right here, because if we need to expand this back, we'll just put them back like that. Um, okay, so those will also connect with those, which we don't have interior plates for, but I do know that we were making interior plates earlier. The question is, did they ever make or did they stop? It looks like they made. There we go. Let's grab a couple of those. I only have 19, but it should be enough to at least place the uh, beginnings of this. One right there, one right there, here, here, and we'll put one here. And then you just need one of these. And one of these. Okay, from there we're going to connect like this. Go up and connect to you like that. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and weld all this stuff. Whoops. Uh, we've had a uh, we've had an issue. I um I messed up and I crashed into this, and as a result, it broke the uh, it broke the battery, but it's now fixed. It retained all of its power, so everything should be good. <laughs> I went- I zigged when I should have zagged, basically. That was the issue. Remote access, rigs up builder. Are you not- did I break the thing as well? That's fine. Yes. Okay, here we are. And we're back. Okay, so uh, I think I went forward into this too fast. What I needed to do was turn around, kind of slowly. Let's switch number seven, and back up into this right here, which will connect it. Okay, now we're going to connect, and we're going to start transferring some items over. All right, sweet. Now we have them hooked up to the engine over there, or to the, the tank over there. And the question is, why are they not working? Well, I'll tell you why. Because hydrogen tanks are annoying, and they don't like to work sometimes. Let's, um, let's just, wait, why? Oh, hydrogen engines, not tanks. Uh, we'll call these hydrogen engines base. Because they're the base's hydrogen engines. And from there I can just grab these and, uh, tell them to turn on. Turn on. Bruh. I'll admit they look cool. But I need them to actually work. And I believe you don't stick ice in them, right? You, you stick uh, normal stuff. And they're not filled. Man, I tell you, every time I place these things, I have some sort of problem with them. And I don't know why. So you're not filling up. That must mean because you're not connected to this. But you are connected. Maybe you need to not stockpile. Turn off and on. <laughs> but from using these enough, I know that if I tweak things enough, it will eventually turn on and start working. Because that's just how hydrogen engines work. They eventually start working. Oh, there it goes. You hear that? Those guys all started working. All I had to do was delete one block. Why? I don't know. If I place it back, will it break? Nope. Works fine. Except for this one. I have no... I don't understand. Is there a filling period or something? Like, does it take time for them to fill up? Because this one's not filling at all. It just seems like every time I mess with these, there's, there's just some unpredicted thing that happens. Like, they just don't work, and then suddenly out of nowhere they turn on. If anyone can clarify why that is in the comments... Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. 
Let me check as well how fast the um, hydrogen is going out. Hydrogen tank? Yeah, okay, it's going down pretty quick. I wonder if the reason is because I needed to actually process some new ice. Because one of the things I did is I stuck some ice in the, uh, in the O2 generator. So maybe that triggered it going into there, which then gave it power enough to grab from there. I don't know. It's, it's, um, it's ridiculous. Okay, so I put some in here. Will that trigger this one to then start filling? Nope, it's not filling up. It's just, it, it's really not doing anything. I bet eventually this one will just turn on, though. Like, after a long time of just idling. Do these gauges actually work? What does the one that's not working say? No, the gauges don't work. That would be cool. Alright, but these guys are now producing power for our base, which is going to start giving us some bars again. Uh, in 14 minutes, these guys will be fully recharged. So that is that is bueno. But alright, while, while we are waiting for this thing to recharge, let's go ahead and hop in our ship real quick and just go and grab a bunch of ice. Because that would probably be a good use of our time. Uh, so we want to get into the Frankie Bold Miner. Turn you on. Go into this view. And let's fly! The one thing we do not want to destroy, and we should really have two of these probably, is this. Because if we destroy this little piece right here, then uh, we will no longer be able to connect to this base from Mars, which will be really bad. Okay, we got ourselves almost a full cargo container of ice, which should last us for a little while. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know exactly how long it's going to last us, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and try and connect this thing to the base. And... Uh, yeah, we'll get the ice rolling. Number six, let's turn this to recharge mode. And we'll turn these guys off. Uh, and then the, this should automatically be pulled into those guys right there. Um, so you, you guys should be refilling. No, you guys are still... Wait. You just go up. I thought it just went up. Could be wrong. Okay, no, it didn't just go up. So you guys are still depleting even though you are receiving stuff. I can't actually connect to that one. By the way, speaking of you guys, did you ever start? Nope, you never started. Nobody knows why. What if I do this? Oh, it was working. Yeah, it's working. Why did I say it was at zero? Okay, fully recharged in nine minutes. Sweet! As long as we're fully recharged, we can get the ships back on the uh, on the connector and we'll be good. We just have to uh, keep an eye on the fully recharged thing. I might still put up some solar panels around this area. I don't know. Alright, there we go. All the ships are now connected back to their things. Except for this one, which doesn't have a thing to connect to. And we now have our fleet of ships. Nice and ready for action, for whenever they're needed, whenever they're called upon by the person on Mars, which is me. <laughs> I don't know, that, that's that's really their purpose, isn't it? We have quite a fleet, and it's, it's growing bigger and bigger. Um, this is probably a good place to end the episode, because even though it might be a shorter episode, I did record quite a bit today, um, because of the, uh, uh, the stuff that was corrupted and, and, and that sort of thing. Don't remind me. Um, next episode, we'll probably end up building that second welder and we're going that second um, miner, or not? Who knows? Tell me if you guys want a second miner. I guess I don't know. Uh, and then we're also going to build that welder pit that's going to allow us to send ships back to Mars with lots and lots of ice loaded onto them, so that we can load it up onto Big Red or any other ship that we want it to be loaded on, um, as that is the functional purpose of this base. But anyways, if you guys like the video, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comments section. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.